Mayflies belong to the insect order Ephemerella, the most common species of mayflies we see in productive still waters in British Columbia are the, are the calabatus, or the slate-winged mayflies. They're a very delicate insect that lives amongst the vegetation in particular that you find along the shoal areas, or water less than 20 feet in depth in productive lakes. They have an incomplete life cycle, egg, nymph, and adult, but their adult is two phases. There's two phases to adult, the done, or the non-reproductive stage, and then the reproductive spinner stage. So there's a molt of the adult stage to get to the reproductive stage. So we've got in this aquarium some samples of mayflies, uh, nymphs, the calibatus nymphs. Most calibatus have a one-year life cycle. That means eggs are deposited in the late spring and they'll hatch that summer, some of them, or they'll hatch the following spring. And so they're very fragile swimmers and they're spending their time hiding in the vegetation. So you rarely would see a mayfly nymph free swimming. They're just hiding because they're very, very fragile, very slow swimmers. So trout, when they're feeding on mayflies, have to go into the vegetation and actually pick them out, search them out individually, and then suck them in. And that way, they'll get their meal that way. So when a mayfly nymph is fully developed, fully matured, it'll swim off the bottom of the shoal, up through the water column, to the surface of the lake. And once it gets to the surface of the lake, a split forms on the back of its thorax, and the adult done or non-reproductive stage emerges. And the done stage has opaque wings. You can't see through those wings, okay? So that done then flies away, it goes to shore, lands in some riparian vegetation, and overnight it will molt and another adult mayfly will crawl out of that shuck of the dun and it will have clear wings which we call spinners and that's the reproductive stage of the mayfly it's the spinners that mate and come back to the lake and lay eggs so if you go to your favorite fishing lake and you see all kinds of clear winged mayflies flying around or laying on the spent on the surface of the lake those are the spinners that's telling you that those insects or mayflies hatched the day before, 24 hours later. And there's a, probably a good chance that there'll be another mayfly hatch during the day while you're at, at that lake on that particular day. So prime mayfly emergences, as the name implies, usually occurs in May through the months of June. All, again, all dependent on water temperature. Everything in lakes is driven in terms of insect emergences is driven by water temperature. So you need those, uh, that right temperature in the water for these nymphs to fully mature and then swim to the surface of the lake. So when the nymphs are swimming to the surface of the lake, it's on about a 20 degree angle gradually to the surface of the lake. They're swimming silently, silently through the water and get to the surface. So it's not a hatch that lasts all summer or all fall long, it's usually mid-May to the end of June, sometimes into July, depending on if it's a very large lake and higher in elevation. But an important food source that trout look for every year. Okay, I'm just gonna talk now about how to fish mayflies, both the nymph and the adult life stages. So the primary line for fishing mayflies is a floating line or a midge tip, which is a full floating line and a one meter clear intermediate sinking tip. But the floating line will do you for 90% of the situations. Remember the mayfly nymphs are living on the bottom of the shoals and they swim up on a very shallow angle to the surface of the lake to emerge into the adult done or the non-reproductive stage, the mayfly. So I've got a floating line on. I'm anchored in about uh, 12 feet of water and I have about a 18 foot leader on right now and a gold bead-headed pheasant tail nymph on. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast out, out to the, uh, straight out from the side of the boat here. And then I'm gonna wait uh, maybe 35, 40 seconds for that fly to sink 
right down to the bottom of the lake, very close to the bottom of the lake. And then mayflies swim fairly quickly, but they're, they rest very regularly. So the strip I'm going to use, or the retrieve, is called a hand twist retrieve, where I'm just bringing the fly in fairly slowly. I'll pause and then I'll pick it up again. Okay, they don't swim like this through the water. Okay, so it's, it's all nice. Wait for the fly to sink and then hand twist retrieves. Pause and pick it up again. And then you can occasionally put in a couple quick pulls like that, but it's a very even tempoed retrieve. Pause and then pick it up again. Okay. You could do the same retrieve with a strip retrieve. This, this is called the strip retrieve, but you just have to have the patience to know that you can't do this. It's slow. It's nice and slow. Okay. So that's how you would fish the mayfly nymph on the retrieve up to the surface. So what if we're on the lake now, the may nymphs are on the surface and they're hatching. And now the trout are gulping, head and tail rising or sipping the adult mayflies off the surface. You can see them take them. So you strip in your floating fly line, you take off your mayfly nymph and tie on a floating adult mayfly pattern like an Adams or parachute Adams or a Chopaca May or even a very small deer hair tom thumb pattern, something that floats. And you're gonna cast it out now ahead of a rising fish. You'll see a fish porpoise and you'll take one, then you'll come up again and take another one. It's the same fish, so you track where that fish direction it's going and you cast ahead of it. So get that mayfly adult ahead of it and then just give a couple long strip retrieves just to get all the slack out of your system and then let that fly just sit there and it's slowly drifting in the breeze and that fish will come up and gulp it and you set the hook. So very visual. You'll see the little sailboats when those mayflies come up. They're like, their wings are upright like this and they're like a sailboat on the water and it tells you that they're there. And that's when you know you've got to put on the adult pattern because you can see the fish coming up, porpoising, swirling and taking those flies. So that's mayflies. Very visual, floating lines will do the trick for by far the majority of the time.